The drop-down menu's input and output headings relate to the physical location of the respective connector bank on the NX unit. If you hover over an output, you will see a pop-up detailing the function and physical pin output on the unit. You can rename the output here. To enable the output, click on this box and select True. There are various settings that can be adjusted depending on your chosen application. For example, we are changing the dropout voltage of the selected output here. To add an activation, right click on your enabled output. Click on Add Output Function Frequency PWM. Select the plus symbol to open the output function drop down menu. To link an activation input, right click, and you'll be presented with a pop up containing various activation possibilities available to the controller. In this example, we'll be linking the rear reds button from the handset to this output. Once the button is linked, it will be displayed underneath the input. You can also inhibit the output, as shown. The chosen control will be displayed underneath the input. You can also select multiple activation, inhibits and PWM inputs if required. You can also invert, or NOT, an activation input, if required.